I grew up in the live free or die state of New Hampshire. Beautiful. Nice. Yeah, my neighbors were reptilians. Oh my gosh, how did you deal I with have, that? I have, I have it on my phone. I document everything because I thought I was going crazy. You seriously can't make this yeah. shit up. Um, so how can I put this? My awakening started, well, since I was a little girl, mm -hmm. I just didn't realize it. Um, you know, all my friends were watching General Hospital after school, middle school. I was out walking my dog in the woods and stuff. Um, but my real awakening was when I lost my mom from breast cancer, mm -hmm. which sucked because she never smoked, drank anything. Mm -hmm. she, she delivered both my girls. She was a labor and delivery oh. nurse. And just, you know, I wasn't in a good marriage and I just really needed my mom. But... Um, and then it was 2019, oops, I'm poking out here, 2019, um, my dad was just the nicest man, the kindest man, and, um, you know, he went into a huge depression after my mom passed, and um, watching him go through dementia was awful, and my awakening, real awakening, was literally, I was holding his hands, I was with both my parents when they passed, and no one else was around. My mom actually ended up um, waiting for my sister to leave the room. Mm -hmm. There's, that's a long story. But um, when I was holding my dad's hands, I literally, and it makes sense to me now, it felt like my hands were being electrocuted. <laughs> wow. It was crazy. He, um, yeah. yeah, May, May 18th, mm -hmm. I should know that. And um, that's when it started happening. Then my oldest daughter, who... Um, we kind of started butting heads because we didn't like her boyfriend and mm -hmm. he kind of had a bad rap. So she moved out, super smart, super smart, never even really had to study and she was like an honor student. So just everything was being torn out of me and, um, and then, I mean, things happen around my friends whenever they're around me, my neighbors, it's crazy. Like, Literally, I um, when my dad passed, out of nowhere, I had a recording out of thousands and thousands of files on my phone. I went to my neighbor. Sam had just passed. Out of nowhere, I had my phone on my hip. My dad had just passed. It wasn't even two weeks. All of a sudden, mm -hmm. his recording goes off, and he's just the sweetest. And he's like, hey, Cher, I hope you had a nice trip. And he just wanted to thank me. Mm -hmm. And my neighbor, she's like, you didn't touch your phone. I'm like, I know, that meant so much. And it just started happening like that. And then, um, so I had a neighbor, um, and hopefully you can share this someday when the truth comes out, because I know I'm part of a big, big deal here in New Hampshire. She's talking about her reptilian neighbors. No, I have proof to show you this too. <laughs> so, um, so um, my neighbors were Rachel and Evelyn. Rachel was in her 30s, married to Scott, and um, they had two young kids. I would always give them crystals and things like that on the, on the holidays and so forth. And I thought they were my friends until um, they started really pushing the jab. Um, how can I put this? Um, I, I stored a lot of things in my memory, which I didn't realize until later mm -hmm. um such as things as she would ask to permission to come into my house <laughs> um wow. her dad i stored in the back of my mind that her dad was an OBGYN doctor and she specifically said we lived in the middle of nowhere in colorado underground so to speak um she worked she was the um director of marketing for the largest um patenting law firm in the country in Boston for the jabby jabs. Mm. Um, she always kept trying to get one time. My, my neighbor, Beth, I invited her over. I should be looking at you, I'm sorry. No, oh, it's okay, um, look at the camera. My, um, my neighbor, Beth, she, uh, I invited her to come over to my place on mm. the porch out back. And it was during COVID and I didn't want to invite Rachel because I was starting to kind of pick up mm -hmm. on her. And so, um, so, um, Beth invited her. I'm like, Ugh. so she looks stupid. She comes walking over in the screen porched area with her stupid mask on. And she looks at me, she goes, did you get, did you get the vaccination? I'm like, uh, no. 
And she goes, well, you know, my dad's a doctor. I said, hey, I've got, I've got doctor friends too. And I said, I'm staying away from it. And she looked so pissed at me. She just looked at me with daggers in her eyes. It was creepy. Um, and then um, she was also a poll watcher for the elections. Her, her, um, her and her mom were both poll watchers. Mm -hmm. And I have the video from Londonderry, New Hampshire and the local news that Londonderry, um, the votes were flipped by 20,000 votes. Mm -hmm. And I know yeah, she was ahead of it. Cause she, mm -hmm. so when she worked for um, the patenting law firm in Boston, um, she had two separate um, phones because she was always traveling to China. Mm -hmm. So, um, and then one day, this is when I woke up. I'm standing in the middle of the road with her and it's just her and I and she had her stupid mask on, which was stupid. And I and her and I were talking. We're probably this close to each other, and I literally saw her eyes slit. Like you know the Justin Bieber video that goes viral. Mm -hmm. That's what I saw. And then all of a sudden, because I sometimes talk a lot, because <laughs> I have all this energy in mm -hmm. me, I was about to be say something to her like, "What's up with your eyeballs?" And all of a sudden, I heard this voice in my head: "Shut up, Sharon. Shut up, Sharon. Shut up, Sharon." <laughs> so then, um, so then I was like, "Oh my gosh." So. Another neighbor of mine, so I don't know if you guys have heard about Mike Gill. He, um, he's a guy in New Hampshire that exposes the cabal, and he connects all the dots that he says that New Hampshire is the hub for the worldwide cartel, and that's why they found Ghislaine Maxwell there. Um, and that's why Trump, and he's connected to Trump. He openly talks about it. And I remember about 10 years ago, he owned one of the biggest um, financial um, houses. He was right underneath Fannie Mae mm -hmm. and um, did very, very well. But he always had these big, huge digital signs that had pictures of cartel people and our government polit politics and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And I remember back then thinking, dude, that's not a good way to get business, you know, but now it makes sense. Um, there's a video that he has, um, Mike Gill, State of Corruption, um, it's called Doing the Laundry, and he literally calls, and he documents all of his paperwork over the years. So I digress. So fast forward, and then the thing with Rachel had happened, then I remembered also um, in my neighborhood, we lived in um, Amherst, New Hampshire, where, um, oh, and by the way, she's an attorney, so anyhow, if that matters. Rachel. Her mom is actually, her mom lived with her. Mm -hmm. um, and I'd feel awful, but she supposedly had multiple myeloma for 15 years. She was the one that actually got the bill going to pass mar uh, medical marijuana in Massachusetts and all this. So they look like they are outstanding citizens. Mm -hmm. So then I remembered um, my other neighbor, I'm just not going to say his name, but um, he, when our girls used to play with each other when they were younger at softball, and I'll never mm -hmm. forget at one of their softball games, he ended up saying um, he was the only programmer in the world that worked for Qualcomm that does what he does. Mm -hmm. And the only reason why I kept that in the back of my head is because in my 20s, I ended up investing in Qualcomm because, mm. but they're the biggest microchip processor right. for China. Pieces mm -hmm. of shit. Um, sorry, I digress. So then um, I had a neighbor that moved into the neighborhood. His name was Tom. And I knew he was deep ops military, but I didn't know exactly what. But I just woke up one morning going, Holy shit balls! I'm in the hub of like the most horrific people. I can show you pictures of of, of them. I documented sure. everything. I ended up um, doing research on her mom, and I'm gonna read something to you that's gonna scare the shit out of people. And here it is. Are you ready? You read can't make on. this stuff up. <laughs> see, there's a water tower right there, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. I see it. You want to read what it says? Just read it. Sure. You want to read it out loud? All right, so let's see if I'm going to put it really close without my glasses. That's right. Our other spacecraft. How do you think Purge, Purge, and I get here? That's our pimped out ride, parked light behind Mile Rage Cottage, cleverly disguised as the Jericho Water Tower. 
foolish earthlings. Ha 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 ha. Wow. No, keep reading it. It's, oh, keep reading it, it? Okay. Keep reading it. That's where they tell you they're going to annihilate us. Okay. It's awful. Let me see. Where? It's like I'm living in a movie within a movie. After that paragraph, where, where is oh, it? Oh, it says, it says, um, that's right, our other spacecraft. How do you think Purge and I got here? That's our pimped out ride parked right behind Mildred's cottage, clever, cleverly disguised as the, as the Jericho water tower, foolish earthlings. Yeah, so, and, oh, but up top here it says, oh, that's oh what look, I didn't read. oh look, how cute, a plastic space, a, a plastic space alien mm -hmm. out front to welcome us to the reunion. Fool, foolish earthlings, that's our advanced scout, Colonel Bleep York, Earth name Dooley Womack, carefully surveying the old Floyd Bennett parking lot, which will serve as our landing strip for our other spacecraft during the glorious assault. Who does that? That's my neighbor. That was a it's your neighbor, part. huh? No, it was a class reunion for her school. Yeah, class reunion here. Well, Sharon, it seems like you are definitely been some having some wild experiences there with the negatives. <laughs> <laughs> Talking about oh. having neighbors as reptilians. Yeah, so I ended up waking up one morning and I nicknamed my neighbor Major Tom because his name's Tom and he was deep military. And I went and I told him everything. I'm like, I don't know what I should tell. I can't talk to Glenn about this. I can't tell anyone. And he was actually interested in all of this. He said, first off, Qualcomm, bad. Biggest mic, they're listening to everything and watching you. Mm -hmm. um, but... The other thing is, is long story short, years prior, I worked for a company where literally it was during the Hillary um, election and it was called the Mybox Zombie. It was a commercial for like pod units. Mm -hmm. I, was, I was hired after I, I was an inventor by trade. I sold to a lot of the big box stores. Unfortunately, had a greedy business partner, blah, blah, blah. Um, so I was supposed to sell franchises and no one could understand, um, why he was obsessed to do this commercial. Mm -hmm. Um, and it had, it, that's what it was called, the zombie apocalypse. And when you listen to the beginning, I'm like, holy shit. And Ishmael, I was called Ishmael the meal, which I'm like, what's up with that? Where'd they? And everyone had a script name like Captain Kirk. And it was very well done. Cause mm -hmm. so I reported my neighbors to Trump. Mm -hmm. I went to his official page and I emailed him all this and literally within a couple days all of a sudden my uh, every text message anything I do on my phone is highlighted specific words in orange and I took that as um, as I was being watched by the good guys like I pray mm -hmm. every night I mean now I know why I see orbs and mists like I see them in the room right now I could move it around I do this like they're right there stuff like that but um I got really brave because I knew I was being watched mm -hmm. by the good guys oh yes I do I have a gift for you oh that's sweet got you one. oh sweet yeah. thank you Sorry, I'm dressed down. I just wanted to be comfortable. So. Oh, no. Look at me. I'm in jeans, too. Yeah, you you're cozy. You. Oh, thank you. <laughs> November 14th. Mm -hmm. Thank you for your support. Oh, gosh, I look like a grub. Oh, and let me sign your book, too. Already. Oh, thank you. But I'd love to read my last yes, thing on um, what I sent to oh, yeah. Rachel and her. See, look at, see my everything. Oh, now it's blue. It used to be orange. It's just um, So Rachel and mm -hmm. Evelyn, I just want to pop in what I wrote to them. And I sent it to Major Tom. This is what I wrote. Talk about how crazy I am. I wrote, Rachel and Evelyn, I thought the both of you would, would find this interesting in the public domain, laughy face. I found it years ago. I always read between the lines and see things. It's my thing. Boy, God, boy, God's worst curse on a woman in menopause can do a number on you. Because that's what happened to me and I went delirious. Um, thank goodness I fought the good fight and, and threw it because it completely awakened me in the higher self that I am. I think I remember it's not over until the fat lady sings. So the game is officially over. God is awesome and I can't wait until the world gets used to different and world peace. Peace out, losers, Sharon the Red Baron. I like literally wrote this to them knowing that they're just part of the cabal. Wow. What a brave soul here. We have Sharon. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank for you, coming Fisher. to my book event. Thank you. 
You're and welcome. thank you. You helped awaken me to make me feel like I'm not crazy. So none of us are. Oh, I know that. We now. we are the new normal, right? Oh, the I ones am. ones that are crazy are the programs, yeah. right? For yeah. Well, thank you're you. You're welcome, Sharon. All right. Thank you for sharing those real life stories. Oh, thank you. Yeah. And you saw it yourself on what I pulled up on them. Don't forget your signed copy. Oh, yeah. And you want to oh, get a few shoot. more. Yeah, so you can actually get that from uh, Kristen. My friend, okay. um, Rob. No problem. It's nice oh, to let meet me give you a hug, sister. Thank oh, you. Thank you. Yes. Nice to meet you. You're welcome.